All right, everybody. So I've been letting this unknown metal sample sit in this hot water bath for some time now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the temperature of the water bath and because this metal has been sitting here for a significant amount of time, we can assume that the temperature of the water is the same as the temperature of the metal because the metal has been um, gaining heat from the surroundings, from the surrounding water as it's been heating up. So I'm gonna put our thermometer in here And our water is boiling, so the temperature on the thermometer is definitely going to jump around quite a bit. I'm just going to try and find the number that I see up here most often, and that's going to tell me what I'll use as the initial temperature of my metal. All right, so it's kind of staying around that 99.4 to 99.6 area, jumps up every now and again. So I saw 99.6 kind of jump around the most, so I'm gonna take that and call that the initial uh, temperature of our metal. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that hot metal and I'm gonna take it out of the water bath and quickly dump it in to um, my calorimeter here. So this is my stir plate. Inside my stir plate, I have my cool water sitting in here with my um, stir bar. So the purpose of the stir bar is to make sure that everything is being heated pretty evenly and the temperature or the heat will be evenly distributed inside my calorimeter once I put the metal in. So I'm gonna take this, we're gonna see the initial temperature of the water is at 21.9 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna use my test tube clamps to grab the test tube, invert it very quickly into the calorimeter, slap the lid on top, and I'm using a cardboard lid here. Oh, it looks like our initial temperature is changing. We might have to change it in our data table. Yep, 22.0. Let's call that our initial temperature. Okay, so I'm going to take this and set my camera right here. Grab my metal and then very quickly open this up. Invert so my hot metal goes in, stick my lid right on top, hold it down. And now this is spinning, so the water and the metal are transferring heat. And it looks like my temperature is staying constant at 22.8 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to call that my final temperature of the system.